This is 7.3a of algebra. So we're going to continue working with exponents. Um, if I have something like this, let's say x squared to the fourth. Okay, well, whenever there's an exponent on the outside, um, that tells us how many times, right? If we just had plain x squared, that means x times x. So if we've got a fourth on the outside, that must mean that I need to do x squared four times. And then if I want to figure out what that was with just 1x, since I'm multiplying, I'd add the exponents, right? 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And if you look from here to here, there's a shortcut. When there is an exponent outside of parentheses, we need to multiply the exponents. So we multiply 2 times 4 to give us 8. So here's our general form there. a to the m to the n is equal to a to the m times n. So let's try some here. We'll try a. We've got p to the fifth to the fourth. So I need to do 5 times 4 and that's 20. So this is p to the 20th. And if I try c, I've got p to the 1 half to the 1 fourth. So that's p to the 1 half times 1 fourth one half times one fourth, remember multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, gives us one eighth. So this is p to the one eighth. Okay, so when we've got a little bit more going on, first deal with the parentheses stuff, okay? So leave the x squared out front. We've got x to the sixth to the negative fourth. So I need to multiply those, so we get x to the negative 24. Now that these are multiplying, now I can add the exponent. So this is x to the negative 22. And we don't leave negative exponents, so this is 1 over x to the 22nd. Let's try this one. So I'm going to leave the w to the negative 2 alone. And then I've got w to the 5 thirds to the third. So I've got 5 thirds times 3. I write this as a fraction, it's a little easier. 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 1 is 3, and when we do divide 15 by 3, we get 5. So this ends up being w to the fifth. And then I can add these exponents. Negative 2 plus 5, that's positive 3, so w to the third. One last one here. So they're both in parentheses, but this is the only one that has an exponent on it. This one doesn't have an exponent. So I'm going to leave the s to the 3 halves alone. I'm just going to drop that parenthesis. I need to do negative 5 times negative 1 half. Write it as a fraction. Negative times a negative is a positive. 5 times 1 gives me 5. 1 times 2 gives me 2. So this is s to the 5 over 2. Now I can add these. They have the same denominator, right? So I'm okay. 5 halves plus 3 halves gives us 8 halves, which is just the same thing as 4. So this is s to the 4th. Okay, if we have um, two things going on in our parentheses, um, you can see it written out up here, but we need to rein in or distribute the exponent to both things, to the number and the x to the variable. So if we have something like 2x squared, and that's squared, you need to bring the square down to the 2 and the square to the x. So this will be 2 squared and x to the 2 times 2, which would give us 4x to the 4th. Right? Same thing works if there's multiple variables in there. So let's try a few here. Let's try this first one. So I need to rein, so I've got 7m to the 9th to the 3rd, and I need to rein that in to both things. So 7 to the 3rd and m to the 3 times 9, right? So 7 to the 3rd, that's 7 times 7 times 7, which gives us 343. And this will be m to the 27th. Alrighty, let's try this one. We've got a negative exponent now. So I've got 2z 
to the negative 4, so I need to bring the negative 4 into both of them, 2 to the negative 4, z to the negative 4. Before I simplify those, I'm going to bring them to the bottom. So this is 1 over 2 to the 4th, z to the 4th, and 2 to the 4th is 16, so 16 z to the 4th. And then let's try our last one. So we've got 3g to the 4th to the negative 2. So I need to rein that in to the 3 and to the g. So I get 3 to the negative 2, g to the 4 times negative 2. So that's 3 to the negative 2, and this is g to the negative 8. Now I can drop them to the bottom. So I get 1 over 3 squared, g to the 8th, and that's just 1 over 9, g to the 8th. And there's your homework.